All eyes on Disney Plus this weekend as the streaming platform is set to premiere Mulan today. That's right. Our Dean Richards offers a reflection. Nice. See what I did there of yes. what you can expect this weekend in home movies. Check it out. After several pandemic delays, Christopher Nolan's much anticipated Tenant is finally hitting select theaters this weekend. Now, like all of his movies, it is visually stunning. But is the story too complex for its own good? Here's my Dean's List review. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. Start off thinking about the new Christopher Nolan movie, Tenet, as sort of a James Bond movie on steroids. At its core, it's got that kind of feeling. John David Washington plays a CIA agent, tracking down some very bad guys who have figured out how to invert energy or make time go backwards, a threat to world peace, much less capture. Decorating this basic premise is some of the most imaginative cinematography that you've ever seen, but also a storyline that's unnecessarily complex with the addition of director Nolan's preference to use unenhanced natural sound that's often difficult to understand. Both things make the plot very difficult to follow. I guess if I saw the movie several more times, I'd get it, but you shouldn't have to see a movie several times. You should also feel something for Washington and his co-stars, Kenneth Branagh, Elizabeth Debicki, and Robert Pattinson. The warmth of Tenet is lukewarm at best. I love being visually dazzled, but at two and a half hours, at least make things clear and keep me engaged. It's a Dean's List B-, and by Nolan's request, is only showing in theaters. What is your name? Soldier? Hua Jun, Commander, son of Hua Zhou. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. Disney's gone ahead and turned another of their animated hits into a live action adventure. This time it's 1998's Mulan, about a young woman who poses as a boy in the Imperial Army to save her father's life and bring honor to her family. Exceptionally written and produced, Mulan winds up being one of Disney's best adaptations, balancing an exciting martial arts adventure with the story of Chinese tradition, of family, loyalty, and love, but especially an empowering tale of a woman's spirit to do whatever she sets her mind to do. Family members of all ages and genders will love this Dean's List B+, showing only on the Disney Plus platform. For other home video picks, if you've wondered whatever happened to the good old-fashioned rom-com, there's Love Guaranteed on Netflix, about a cash-strapped attorney who takes on a client looking to sue a dating site, guaranteeing that its users will find love. Rachel Lee Cook and Damon Wayans Jr. Star. There's also the Robin Williams documentary, Robin's Wish, that'll break your heart about the final days of the comedian who took his own life in 2014. It's a painful but very enlightening profile told by the people closest to him that takes you inside the world of depression, dementia, and paranoia. See it on Amazon Prime, iTunes, Google Play, and Vudu. My son, it is your time. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. I still can't believe that Chadwick Boseman is no longer with us, but he leaves us a body of work that's stunning, including Black Panther, Get On Up, Marshall, and the Jackie Robinson biopic 42. They're all streaming everywhere. 42 is back on big screen in select theaters. In Chicago, I'm Dean Richards.